Hey everyone. So today I'm going to feature a new product that just recently came out in the grocery store. It's by a company called Real Good Pizza Company. Right there. Um, pretty cool um, little concept they've come up with. I've seen a lot of people doing some interesting things to take some of the carbohydrates out of some of the foods. And I figure I'd give it a try and give my honest opinion and review. Um, it's my honest opinion and review, so uh, it might not reflect how you feel. The only thing I can say is maybe you should try it yourself and see if you like it or not. But I love pizza. I have a very unhealthy <laughs> relationship with pizza, and this can probably be a pretty cool option for someone that's currently on a diet or currently in some sort of ketosis um, type of diet, Atkins, whatever you want to call it, um, craving some sort of cheat meal and just kind of need something that doesn't step too far outside of their guidelines. I'm not your diet coach, so always um, talk with them about that. Do I think that they're going to be okay with adding this in one of these every night? No, no. I don't think any, any diet coach would... Um, be comfortable with that but um calorie wise these are okay i opened up the box it's not a big box this is not a big box okay so i don't know what i was expecting but these are fairly small that's what she said these are incredibly small um I think it kind of almost looks like maybe one and a half pieces of pizza. Okay. Now, um, calorie-wise, if you look at the nutritional facts on the back, they're going to tell you, oh, it's 250 calories, it's four grams of carbs, and that's how they have it labeled on the front. If you can see it, it's right there. Okay. That's cool, but that's only for half of this pizza. So that means that only half... <laughs> of this so if you really want to put it down and break it down into the you know the real mathematical equation of it we're looking at you know almost 500 calories and eight grams of carbohydrates now that's not that bad um each half of the pizza um the the fat wise is equivalent to about a tablespoon of olive oil or um coconut oil um so, and they're going to differentiate a little bit. This one has some pepperoni on it and some olives. I'm never really that impressed when I get a frozen pizza. Um, the toppings on them, they just seem kind of like, they seem a little greedy sometimes, you know. Now, <clears throat> these are gluten-free. And if you have any sort of dairy issues, um, that's not going to fly here because they are covered in cheese. And I did get a little piece of it earlier. I haven't tasted it yet, but I didn't taste the cheese. And it is really, the cheese tastes really good. Um, so, um, <clears throat> I did, they give two different ways for you to cook these. Now, I cooked one in the microwave as to, at, you know, one of the alternate ways to cook it because I thought I'd like to see what it's like. Um, there's a lot of people that travel and don't always have access to certain types of um, ways to cook certain types of foods. I run into that a lot with my clients. But usually you can always at least find a microwave, whether it's at a gas station or at your, at your job. There's usually always at least a microwave. <clears throat> Um, I don't always believe in using a microwave because it does tend to zap out some of the nutritional aspects of your food. But push comes to shove. You got to do what you got to do. I don't know what that is. All right. I did cook the other one in the oven. Okay. And when I cooked it in the oven, it took about 20 to about 20 minutes. Um, it kind of it came out kind of flimsy and if you look on the back of the box it does give a recommendation to cook it in the oven but then to also put it in a uh, pan with some cooking spray and let it crisp for one to two minutes I'm kind of not feeling like it I guess I'll show you the back of it 
it looks like it kind of did a little crispy thing or two. I don't know. Not, nothing really that extreme and great. But as far as what they've used for the bottom of the foundation of the pizza, um, it's a combination of chicken breast and Parmesan. So these are like really thinly sliced chicken breast and it's mixed with some sort of cheese, apparently. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try it. I have not tried it yet and we will see if I think it's worth it. It's pretty good. This is the one that came out of the oven. Do you see how flimsy it is though? You know, I mean, it's not bread, so what do you expect? It's actually a very thin layer of chicken. I think it tastes great. I think it tastes really, really good. All right, I'm gonna try the one from the microwave. I'm really torn right here with this one because it's like, <laughs> When I heated it up in the microwave, the cheese just went all around the pizza. Like it just melted and then melted off the pizza. So it's, it looks like one side has, one side has um, actual cheese and the other side just has like the toppings. But um, yeah, so it is what it is. I'll try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reconstruct it. You gotta use your brain sometimes. Okay, let's see. Let's see what I think. That's really good. I mean, it, does it have that crunch that pizza has? No. Does it have that satisfying, like, bread texture? No, but it, it really does have the same vibe and feel of a pizza, just minus that that bready that bread feel you know um this could very well be a good substitute so that you can quit cheating on your diet or if you just want a little treat you want to treat yourself um i did do the homework and i look i went to their website um you can order from their website i got a little bit of notes here um you can order from their website they do offer free two-day shipping um, it's available at Walmart, Publix, and I thought it was weird that they had it at Vitamin Shop. That's kind of weird. I've never really shopped at Vitamin Shop, so I can't really say. But you can order it off Amazon as well. <clears throat> and it's sold for $39.99. $39 That's $40. Um, <laughs> and it comes in a pack of six, which would make them $6.66 a piece. So six sixty six. I don't. That's some Illuminati shit. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good deal, in my opinion. The six sixty six. I don't want to say that again. I don't want to say that again. But it is a pretty good deal, considering that I got them from Publix, and they were six ninety nine. But I was able to get mine for buy one get one free. So maybe you want to check your your ads if you have a Publix in your area and see if that's a deal that you can get down with. On the website, they're a lot they're a lot more expensive. So they're about $8.99 a pizza. <clears throat> but they do offer a coupon code which will give you 10% off. Um, but I definitely think it's worth a try. I've seen some recipes floating around out there. Uh, people doing some of this on their own. Uh, a lot of us don't have that time to sit down and dedicate and learn that or the energy or just even the desire but this could be a nice little tasty treat um if you're on a you know a 1500 calorie diet this is a third of your diet one of these little pizzas is a third of your diet so when you break it down and you look at it like that do i think it's worth it when i look at it like that meh it's not something that I'm, like I said, I don't think this is something to implement into your diet um, every day. But as a little treat, hell yeah, I thought it was great. I think it tastes really, really good. Um, 
but check it out for yourself. I'm going to put some links down in the description if you're interested in purchasing it off Amazon. I'll leave a link. Um, they have uh, a couple of different types. They have a pepperoni, a supreme, a cheese. Uh, I think they're great. <clears throat> or you can order off their website or look for them in your store next time you go in your grocery store. If you don't have a Publix or a Walmart, um, I'm not really sure outside of that. But yeah. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of cool videos like this. Give it a like. Share it with your friends. Talk shit. I don't care. Um, leave comments in the comments section. Leave any. Yeah, if there's anything that you'd like for me to review, feel free to just drop it down below. Let me know. Um, I have ordered a ton of shit that's going to be coming in in the next few weeks. So... <laughs> It'll be here next week, so I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys. But I give this a definite thumbs up. I would definitely buy it again, and I'm going to let my son... I'm not going to sit here. I'm not... Oh, no, don't dare me to eat all this. Don't. <laughs> don't dare me. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going to eat all this. I'm going to have my son come... Um, have a little bit and try it for himself and save some for my boyfriend you know if i let my boyfriend taste a piece of this he can recreate it so um if you guys do like it i'm gonna get my boyfriend to kind of throw together so some sort of quick simple easy way to make your own at home and you can save some money as well um he's just great like that but that's all for today <clears throat> thanks for watching bye